Matt Foes, a farmer here in Bureau County, Illinois, outside of Sheffield, Illinois. Uh, continuing the family farm for the third generation. It's a standard John Deere 1770 NT 24 row uh, planter, so uh, weighted down with fertilizer tanks and, and all that, so it's fairly heavy beast. This area has got a, a wide range of soils, uh, everything from peat and muck in river bottoms to sand on the adjacent sand hills. Everybody talks about the pinch row effect of row crop tires, especially with a heavy tractor weighted down with tanks and versus the LSW tires to spread that uh, footprint out and get away, with, uh, away from some of the damage I was causing by having a heavy tractor out front and, and gain something uh, with uh, a wider footprint versus where I was at before. If I can gain the benefit of having all the fertilizer on the planter and mitigate some of the damage of having the fertilizer on the planter, uh, that'll be the win. This year it's been more really mellow soils and, and this tractor with the LSWs on it stays on top versus making any kind of footprint at all. If you get it onto a bigger footprint, it's gonna stay on the surface better. You're not gonna have the tracks and you're not gonna have the damage for the following year. So I want to be able to mitigate any of that compaction so that every row is the same as much as possible. Because if there is a delay uh, in pollination or delay in any, any stage that you see, it means that corn plant has had stress in its life and stress means less yield. Going to the LSW tires, the wide singles, um, I did notice that in the field, it floated a lot better. Uh, row crop tires, you'd have one drop down into a, a, a low area, back up over a high area. The LSWs, it was more of a, a floating effect across the field. And going down the road, very smooth ride. There was no loping like you would normally expect with a, a big floater type of tire. The ride in the field was better than the row crop tires.